Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's, hi, Mar Eileen. Marley was waiting for you. Oh, hi, and Marley. That's my supervisor, Pat. <laughs> I, I would have um, yeah, maybe gotten him to film this for Patreon, but I wasn't so sure if he could pull it off. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. Oh, yes. I was just going to go out to the mailbox and, uh, and uh, feed the animals. So. Oh my gosh, look, you even have your car painted. Yes, it's, it's another work in progress. It's so wonderful. Look at this. I even got this on Amazon. Did you know they make such things? What is it? Oh, how Take fun. Oh my gosh. Do, do you want a card? I do want a card. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So okay, cool. let's let's go up here. Oh, it's getting cold, but I'm I'm glad it's not as cold today as it was yesterday. Yeah, definitely. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Wow, look at all this you have going on out here. No mail. No mail. Yeah, I've been uh, making some leaves. Um, I have so much pine here, and I'm in the process of adding some more clippings. I thought people might, might stop by and get some greens and make their own wreath. Um, most of my produce um, is self-serve, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of... A lot of uh, thinking through. <laughs> anyway, um, you want to come feed the lambs with me? Oh my goodness, absolutely. Fun, that sounds like so much I fun. Into the building first. Very good. You've never been here and see my studio. I know, I'm very excited to check it out. have my gardens out front ready for the winter. Um, I've got a little bit of kale that the frost has has touched it already but I think it's going to keep rebounding wow. and then on and off through the winter and in the early spring. Um, I easily come out here and nibble for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah your setup is so fun out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Wow, look at this. Yes. So many things to look at. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is a piece I recently finished. Um, I started it when I took a trip to Buckhannon, West Virginia over the summer. And uh, I've got that for sale. And. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Yeah, I'm trying to pull together some local and online um, open studios for the holidays. Um, yeah, you have a lot of wonderful yeah, this, this stuff area here. This here is, is kind of my examples of personalized wedding products. Like this is, this is one I've done quite a number of pieces over the years. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Mm. And weaves the names of the couple and their wedding date together. and So cool. Bridal bouquet preservation. Um, these are just examples I like to keep of custom work I've done for people. This, this area is more along the lines of um, caricature work I've done, studio mm. caricatures. Um, just a little bit of everything. It's so many things. It's so cool. Yeah. I, this was one of my favorite drawings I did to personalize this wedding piece. Wow. These, these were their actual hands joined. I oh. enjoyed that drawing quite a bit. Yeah, that's so really anyway, special. Let's, um, let's come through here real quick. Huh? Oh my gosh. Look at these. Wow. Yeah, I like to keep examples of, of my work. Uh, most of these are prints or prints on canvas. There's a couple originals here that I have kept. Um, 
Wow. Look at this. Somehow, <laughs> I'm going to have to get up there and <laughs> how that got tilted off the screw. A little wonky. <laughs> Still yeah, beautiful. I'm sorry for the mess. I've got a lot of different projects going on. Yeah, you're clearly keeping busy. Uh, yeah. And now what is this thing? Well, this is um, a framing vise. Oh. A lot of the frames I order come um, as chops. I and see. I join them the old-fashioned way with wow. um, wire brads and drill and, wow. yeah. One stop shop here. It's, it's <laughs> one of my favorite tasks. Um, yeah. Some of the hardwood frames um, can be a little problematic. Yeah, I would imagine. It's just not my favorite thing to do, but I do it. Right. But, yeah, I've been working on this. Um, a gift for my cousin. It's their puppy. It's it's a little bit of an experiment. There's actually layers of glass. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. I, I've yeah. been painting. I thought, what would happen if I painted? on the glass and then finished it off on top with a black oil enamel paint on the glass on the front of it that outlines the puppy oh the texture on that is so much yeah. fun I, I wow. love to experiment that's the first time i've ever tried to do a, a portrait on glass and of course you know this we got this frame to go on it I think it'll look really nice. Oh, yeah, so, definitely. It's, oh. it's been months. I, it's kind of a personal <laughs> thing. I just squeeze it in. And, mm. So, oh. Turn my, turn my heater off. Wow. So yeah, this is my framing area. Um, I do custom framing. Wow. Um, I've been working on matting some... Mm. Illustrations I did for a, a Christmas card for this company in Tennessee. Oh, look at that That's wreath. That's a print. Um, they can get a print, but their their actual cards are five by seven. Okay. Christmas cards. Wow. Anyway. Um, so fun. <laughs> yeah, what else is going on over well, here? Oh, just too much. <laughs> <laughs> but... Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. I know, don't you just want to like oh. touch them? Or... They're so colorful, wow. dried, dried flowers. These I've picked um, in the fall from my own gardens and my neighbor's garden um, to do some dried flower creations that I can sell or yeah. maybe offer as a raffle. Um, <clears throat> I do wedding bouquet preservation, but it's just fun to... Oh, they're so beautiful. I just want to keep the color. Yeah, it's yeah. remarkable how well it stays. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. It's just exciting to, to see colorful things. Oh, so oh, beautiful. Okay, so let me take you um, out to the lambs. Oh, yes. Yet another area on the studio shop. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to offer wreath making for local families um, at the holidays. I'm still working on getting some greens. Mm -hmm. the table. Yeah, yeah, what a here. fun family project. Yeah. And, and you've got a piano in here. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the second piano that was gifted to me from a good friend in Alabama. Her mother oh. was a music teacher and wow. one in a nursing home. And um, I thought it would be nice to have a second piano. Oh. So this is an area I recently set up for display. And, um, yeah. And, and, I like to, to repurpose furniture painting, a little bit of everything along. I, in, I don't like getting bored with any one thing, so in between portrait work and calligraphy, 
um, I do find myself um, repurposing a furniture headed for people's trash. <laughs> yeah. Now look at this. This is something oh, special. Yeah, so this is, this is what the other flowers will be for. I did this um, a few months back. All dried flowers that I collected <clears throat> from different gardens and dried and pressed. And I'm actually planning to raffle this piece. Wow. And I made a lot of jellies in the fall. Great apple, apple butter, salsa. Oh, you've got some fun flavors up here. Yep. Wow. Very cool. It's been a lot of a lot of work at this new place since August of 2020, just trying to rebuild and network with people in the community. Sure, yeah, it's, it's always it's challenging. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Like everything else. Man, this one's really special. Thanks. Okay, so let's, let's head out this way. Okay. So many plants. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, um, I'm trying to root some of my shoots that came up on my raspberry and blackberries from the summer and see if I can get them going. Maybe sell them on my produce stand. Yeah. You know, I love the outdoors and gardens, but that serves one purpose, but it's a way to network in the community, meet people, yeah. you know, as the time goes on and people see what I'm doing. Um, hopefully I'll meet people that will be interested in my art. Yeah, also. yeah. Um, it looks like you have a little orchard over here. Yes. Um, I love this property. The, the mm. seller had planted an orchard and all kinds of really cool areas. I have to take you through that pine area down there. Mm. Feed the lambs. Oh, and here are some chickens, I hear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have 18 chickens. Happy yeah. girls. They give me eggs and company and, mm -hmm. and fertilizer for my garden. Yeah. Hmm. Hey girls. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. Oh, we've got some... It's the time of day where they're going to be wanting to come inside here. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> they're, ready. Ooh, they're ready for some food. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at <laughs> beautiful eggs. Yeah. I have a couple younger hens that lay the green eggs, oh. the Americana. Okay. Just the green. Okay. I think I got them all. <laughs> they sound happy. Yep. I'm a hippie wannabe. <laughs> Born in 1963. Like Close. Yeah, but I'm a little too young. <laughs> Peace, dream, one of my favorite words. Mm, Shalom. Yeah. That's a sort of a biblical idea of everything is right in the world. Mm, Shalom. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so in here, I'll leave the eggs. Carry them down. But 
my lambs like a daily treat. Mm. It's like they're candy. No. <laughs> they're treated well around here. Yep. Wow, it's so beautiful back I love here. To design things. Uh -huh. So when I designed this coop, I thought see there's a little doorway under there that they can come out. It stays open and the coop, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's see, walking they can down. come out on their own. I don't have to let them in and out. But I nice. thought, I, I started it out front because I thought in the morning from my bedroom window, mm -hmm. I want to see the chickens. Oh. I didn't want to have them exit from the back. Right, right. So, yeah. I seem to have an active mind and I love to mm -hmm. design things. Yeah, it's impressive, so the structures. Actually, they, they can come out here and uh, go in that way. They can, there's another little door they can and go out this area. Nice big run. Yeah. Wow. So many uses for pallets. It's so wonderful. I love repurposing and reclaiming. Yeah. Um, all sorts of things. Actually, in recent years, a lot of my art has turned into um, forms of repurposing and mm. collage and linking images, ideas, different things together. Yeah, that's really cool. I find there's a synergy between being outside and taking breaks to work with my hands and then going in and painting some or tackling something tedious on the computer. I, I kind of seem to need the whole bit. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well-rounded. Look who it is. Aww. When, when I got these in May, the, the man who brought them from the sheep farm, he said to socialize them and don't say bah, like in the storybooks. <laughs> but he said their mamas say bah. <laughs> And he did this and I imitated him. Aww. And it, it is interesting because they will follow you. <laughs> They're a little nervous right now. Yeah, stranger. <laughs> There's a reason they, they say they're timid and sheepish. Right. Well, they're talking now. They're talking. Their names are Natalie and Elizabeth. Oh. I bet if you came and just kneeled down here and we sat quietly, they they will come because they're not going to be able to resist if they know they can get some crap corn. <laughs> She's looking around to see if it's safe. Yeah, we got some bird friends talking to us. Yeah. We can just learn so many things from animals, um, especially sheep. Very biblical. Mm. This one with the blue collar, she's more comfortable than the one with the green. Mm -hmm. The one with the green collar was actually quite sick about two months ago and she was nursed back to health but she's more timid. Yeah. <laughs> They're not cooperating. <laughs> we know something's unusual here. Camera shy. <laughs> so, I bet if I dump it and we walk away, they'll come over. But you won't get to film them eating out of my hand. What is wrong with you girls?
<laughs> Come on, girls. Come on. They're going to cooperate. <laughs> they will eat That's... out of my hands and it tickles. See? <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Boys have to be worried about predators. They will jump at the slightest thing. You heard how just with the change in my voice, they, right. they startled. Yep. So, it's beautiful out back, um, that field when there's snow on it out there. Oh, I bet. And people hunt a lot of times in the winter. I hear the hunters. Okay, yeah, so this whole place is beautiful. I have one other place I'm going to take you through. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of a magical place. Mm -hmm. sort of. So the, the man who owned this property had planted on each side two, two, um, you'll see, rows of pine trees that are together. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Beautiful? Wow, so beautiful. Sometimes I walk under here at night, and you can hear the birds in the branches. They just fly around, and the sounds of the birds in the morning here are just amazing. This is kind of a special place I like to come out, even sometimes at night. Yeah. If I'm feeding my animals, sometimes at night I'm even outside. Um, I'll come and pray. It's just a special place. Yeah. You can walk back up through the building if you want. Um, yeah. I guess I'm not real good at knowing how to do um, videos for Patreon, but I thought this would give a sense of my new property, my studio, um, <coughs> where you're getting over that cold. Uh, yeah. That time of year. Um, yeah, I'm I'm exploring Patreon and um, different ideas. Uh, I would like to do more original works at this point in my life and find ways to um, fund various projects with incentives, um, sell originals, maybe raffle yeah. um, pieces. I always have ideas, but you know, it's just a lot to put them together. Yeah, well, it feels like Patreon is a good place to explore. Yeah, I heard about it through my son, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it seems um, to be an online platform that a lot of people are using. I mean, the idea of patrons goes way back. Right. You know, during the Renaissance, of course, we had the, the biggest patron of the arts. Right. Um, the Roman Catholic Church. Right, right. That's a whole thing I should write some thoughts about. Yeah. So beautiful. That's a, a print of a watercolor floral that I did, oh, probably about 15 years ago. It was a large painting. It's beautiful. I have a lot of prints. I sell a lot of things on Etsy. Mm hmm.
And tomorrow and Saturday I'm going to be putting this out. Wonderful. Anyway, um, that's about it. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. This was really fun.